Migrants in Countries in Crisis. Why is this important? In today's world, over 250 million people live abroad for work, education, or family reasons. Others move across borders to find refuge from conflicts or disasters, and many more for tourism, business, or to visit friends and relatives. All over the world, when crises hit, large numbers of international migrants are affected alongside local populations. Migrants can face specific challenges in times of crisis. They may lack sufficient information and resources to help themselves or find protection. They may be discriminated against or be unwilling or unable to seek the help of emergency responders. They may not speak the local language. They may not have access to support networks and welfare systems. They may end up trapped in the crisis area. Recent crises such as the Tohoku Triple Disaster in Japan, Hurricane Sandy in the United States, and the conflicts in Libya and Yemen affected disproportionately large numbers of migrants, in particular those who were undocumented and marginalized. The human and economic losses that they suffered were felt in distant places too, by their families and communities of origin. In an increasingly mobile world, migrants need to be accounted for and actively engaged in crisis preparedness, response, and recovery efforts. It is the responsibility of governments, civil society, international organizations, and private sector actors, both in their countries of origin and destination, to effectively do so.